Kaylin and Tone are both, or not Kaylin and Tone, Tone and Zamarion are both very good at, uh, you know, they're very good in the box. They come down and make plays in the box. So uh, they all have different things that they have to offer. But I mean, as a, like, you know, as a class as a whole, you know, they all just come in with a lot of intensity and you know, they come work every day. So I'm excited about all of their developments for sure. It's like a really good group of kids. Really good group of kids. How about the two guys at cornerback, Crawford and Sierra? Uh, what have you seen from them the first couple of days? Uh, yeah, those are like my little brothers, man. You know, I have a lot of love for them. It's very exciting to see their development. I mean, you know, Prophet has grown so much over his last. I want to say he's only been here for six weeks, but I've seen him grow so much as a player and as a, as a young adult, per se. Same thing with Sierra. You know, he's uh, he's he was actually uh, out for like a week or so because of the whole Space Jam thing. But, you know, he's definitely catching up on everything. He looks really good. Uh, Profit's very physical, really fast. Another twitchy kid. And Sierra's just a ball hog. You need a playmaker. So um, once they get all the techniques done and get the defense done, I think they'll be really good. Really good to go for sure. How has your role changed this year, being the older guy now, uh, and you know, especially with those young guys coming in, you talking about taking them under your wing. How's your role kind of changing that way? Oh, I mean, you know, my role has changed. It's changed tremendously off the field, I'd say, is the biggest thing, you know, just because I, now I got to lead by example. I'm the, older, I'm the older dude in the room that I didn't really have coming in to look up to. So, um, you know, I have I obviously had Zay, you know, some of the older dudes like Zay, Greg, you know, some of those just, but we weren't in the same room. We didn't play the same position. So as far as in my position room, um, you know, it was me. I came in with me, ITS, and, and Elijah. So both practically the same age, never had too much experience, so we didn't have anybody to kind of lean on. So, you know, I'm just trying to be that dude that they can lean on this, uh, this, this, this season and, you know, they can come and talk to about everything. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, my, my role has definitely changed just off the field for the most part. You know, just make sure I keep them on track with everything, you know, whatever they, whenever, whatever they need help with, whether it's, you know, uh, technique or learning a certain defense or something, you know, that's what I'm there for. So. With, with so many guys in that room now, um, you said your role kind of changed off the field. Are you, how much of a teacher are you in that room now? Helping guys understand when their time will come, because you're one of those competitive guys that always wants to play. Oh yeah, no doubt, man. I mean, I know, and I, I think that they're getting a, a really good understanding of all of that too. You know, um, probably for the most part, he's like wise beyond his years. He understands, he really understands everything now, which is really good for him, you know, so he understands that, you know, as long as he comes out here and puts his all in, his all into the game every single day that, you know, anything is possible because at the end of the day, Dante lets us learn every day. And my job isn't solidified. ITS spot isn't solidified. You know, nobody, no, everybody out there, my job can get taken the more of. I don't come in and have the right day. So, I mean, you know, just keeping them consistent is the biggest thing, keeping myself consistent, just letting them know to keep going and that, uh, you know, no matter how shit looks right now on the field, that stuff can always change as long as we get better. So that's been my biggest thing to just keep them going. When you're lining up against the wide receivers right now, um, we saw a play out here earlier uh, with Drake. Um, what does he bring to the field that makes things like, like difficult for you? Uh, I'd say Drake is a he's, he's a big player, you know. Keaton's able to put the balls in random places and he'll be able to get to them just because of his rangeiness. So I'd say that's the biggest thing uh, with Drake for sure. It's his, you know, his range and his mobility. He's a basketball player, so his movement is a lot different. So he's able to, you know, Keaton's able to put the balls in those spots that the DB practically can't get to. So is there anybody Drake's on the team who, who uses his body? Uh, Kyle Ford. Around Kyle Ford, he's he uses his body very well. Drake obviously uses his body very well, but those two, you know, by far they use their bodies the best. For sure. Of the freshman wide receivers, who's standing out to you? My boy Manjack, Joseph Manjack. He's somebody that kind of stood out to me from from the first time I saw him during PRP. He's really explosive, kind of a different player than if I saw him. If you saw him, you wouldn't expect him to be the same player that he is on this field. You know, Manjack's a He's a character, man, but he's a really good player, very competitive, and, you know, he kind of just keeps his head down at work. So him and, uh, you know, obviously Mike Jack was here during the spring, so I got to spend some time with him. He's also a really good, hardworking player, so, you know, he's definitely uh, took on, like, a – he's definitely took on a big role in the ice as far as, like, what I've seen, as far as, you know, just being that young dude to kind of step up and take more reps and, you know, just be that consistent younger dude on the team. So he's really good. Him and Mike Jack and uh, Man Jack, for sure.
He spent some uh, time going back and forth with Mike Jack in the spring, uh, you know, trading some blows and stuff. Um, what, what did you kind of expect from him, and, and what did you kind of learn from him during that spring? Um, I said the biggest thing I learned, I didn't really know him, to be honest with you, coming out of high school, but you know, when I did see him, he just, he's a young, he's a young, feisty player. He's, he's gonna be really good, you know, moving forward. Uh, he has a lot of good dudes in his room, so I think that once he's able to, you know, really just get to sit under Drake London, Kyle Ford, you know, guys like that. I mean, you know, you have no you have no option but to be great. So, I mean, I think he'll be he'll be fine. Look at like that. You talked about how you, any day your position can be taken. That's the way with Dante. What, what's your focus this fall to make sure that you lock up your spot? Uh, I'm gonna lock up my spot by just staying consistent and keep doing what I do. You know, eliminating the, uh, eliminating the bigger plays. You know, obviously in practice we can't take dudes to the ground, so um, you know, just eliminating the bigger plays and uh, just doing everything the right way. Make all the small wins are what matters. You know, I have goals that that are that for this team and for myself that are beyond imaginable. So I'm just excited to be able to be consistent on my end to help this team win the national championship.